this is Jerry from Bullshit Corner and today we are going to change the CV axle on your BMW E46 series car sedan. Uh, I noticed on mine the uh, usual signs is uh, when you're turning corners whatever you start hearing like a clicking noise. Um, go to examine it and you can see right here the boots torn so the CV joints obviously contaminated now so what we're going to do uh, in order to get started we're going to remove the brake caliper and uh, remove like the rotor and everything else um, I didn't do a part of the video on uh, jacking up the car or um, taking up the tire you should know that but uh, the rest of the video I'm going to make and uh, show along this is a very important step and I can't stress this amount if you take your brake caliper off always suspended by something wire uh, rope whatever you got uh, don't be a retard and let it hang on the fucking ground because you're just going to stress out that hose and crack it. Next step after you got the caliper done up is uh, got to remove this nut and it's a 36 mil socket. And then once that's done, you can remove your disc. Let's move my shit out of the way. And it should just use a rubber mallet. Just Next step, once you get the, the disc off, is uh, remove your tie rod end here. And I'm just going to use a tie rod end puller just to drop it out. That way it'll be easier, I won't bother uh, won't worry about ripping the boot. Easy as pie. For this step here, you got to use... Um, you gotta use a T30 Torx and that's to hold the screw in the middle and you take a 16 mil wrench that takes a little bit of time to get the sway bar link out of the way and now drop the shut or the strut bracket here and then this piece should just fold down we should be able to pull the axle out pretty easy then so there's part of the CV axle out right now I had some problems over here um, technically the easiest way to get it out is to remove this bolt here and then drop down from the strut but I use impact gun everything the fucking thing would not come in uh, I even tried using uh, a socket and a snipe and my socket ended up busting so I didn't want to break the nut off so I did as I uh, dropped it through the ball joint here which gave me the play to get it out and now I got that end piece in there that's stuck and I gotta fucking somehow chisel that out now. So I figured since we're changing the CV axle, you might as well change the um, differential fluid as well and it's done. There's your hole for your fill. And then, I don't know if you can see, but uh, that's where your drain is. And uh, while we're doing this, I'm gonna replace the seal as well. There's your seal's out finally and there's Differential carries out the seal and the fill plug open. And then the new seal. It's right here. It's got a little plastic cover. Most likely so you could tap it while you uh, put the new seal in. So we're going to do that, then replace the housing. There's the new seal in place there. You got to be very careful when you install it. There's not a lot of room in there, so you got to tap lightly and uh, don't damage that seal. So now we're going to get the axle and install it. So at this point, the new CV axle is put in. Uh, always when you put the axle nuts back on, always dent those in. And now we're going to fill the differential back up with oil and um, finish assembling this and get it done. So here we are. Got the caliper, the rotor back on. Um, New CV axles put back in, differential oil is changed. Um, use 7590 in it. Here's the old CV axle. You can see where the boots ripped and uh, came apart there. Kind of a bit of a job to do on the driver's side, especially um, trying to pry that axle out. It doesn't want to come out easy. Um, the easiest way I say it is, is to remove this nut and you can drop this strut bracket down, but unfortunately I couldn't. so. I was able to do it by popping out the ball joint, but uh, I damaged the boot on the ball joint, so I'm going to have to replace that. 
uh, sometime in the near future guys price one out and I'm just gonna put my splash guards back on and I'll be done hey everybody I uh, just take the car for a test drive um, finally got it all back together and differentials changed and um, the only thing I got to do is um, when I take the CV axle back tomorrow for the core charge I'm going to uh, see how much a ball joint is worth uh, worth I should say um, damage the boot when I pulled the lower control arm off and uh, it's just gonna be a matter of time before I have to change the ball joint so I'm gonna price it out I already looked on eBay and it seems to be that you can get um, control arm with ball joint out of the United States for uh, 110 bucks plus like 25 shipping so I'm gonna check that out but um, right now so far the car seems to be working fine and uh, if you're obviously watching this video, you're either going to be replacing your CV joint or inquiring um, what caused it to be changed. Mine was just a simple fact to boot ripped and then I'm just being lazy, I never checked on it and uh, the clicking just got worse and worse until one day I finally decided to have a look at it and sure enough, um, I noticed it was torn and uh, the axle was already wearing and you can tell by the video that uh, it's in pretty piss poor shape, so uh, you know it is what it fucking is. So uh, yeah, that's it. So stay tuned. I got some other videos coming up for this car. So um, keep checking back. All right, talk to you later. Bye.